Good evening, my fellow shapers. <laughs> Welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. Tonight we're going to do a head shave, and this time I'm going to use the pure uh, shaving cream with aloe by Gillette. I've used this before, and I like to use it on my head because it's a very, very slippery. Just a nice soap, and I'm I've got. Uh, I am going to use an oil that I made ahead of time, shaving oil. It's unmarked in this little jar here. It's legal. <laughs> so, but my, uh, the razor I'm going to use, again, is going to be my Get Supplier, my supply razor. And this is the fourth uh, time I've used this blade. So we're going to see how many, I want to see how many times I can shave my head uh, that it, when it's still comfortable. The last time I was very comfortable with this razor. And, um, Great razor. The uh, the plate I have in here is the uh, plate number one, or the minimal amount of aggressiveness. So there's three plates I have. There's one with one dot, two dots, and three dots. This is the one dot one. So this should turn out to be real nice. We're going to see how nice it's going to be. The uh, brush I'm going to use is a 24 mil Yaki brush. This is synthetic, like a tuxedo brush. Very very smooth. So. It should go real nice on the top of the head. Uh, and I think that's it for right now. So let me wash my head. We'll put the oil on. And we're going to put this directly uh, on the head a little bit. And then we're going to brush it. I'm going to try that instead of whipping it to lather up in a, uh, uh, a bowl. I just dropped my, my washcloth. So to start with the head, at least I'm going to use my big ass bar of soap, which isn't so big anymore because we uh, cut it back to make so that it would fit the sink a little easier. I was going to shave uh, my head tomorrow morning and do a video, but I was watching a football game and it was just bugging me that my hair was so long. When you have, uh, when you're used to shaving your head, if it gets like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch, it drives you nuts. I don't know how many years I walked around with long hair and uh, didn't bother me, but now it does. I just don't like hair in my head, that's all. And I think there's a lot of people that uh, join me with that. All right, let's see how we do here. Shut the water off. I'm gonna take some of my oil. If you want to know how I made this, you can uh, leave a comment below and I'm, I may shoot a video just on how to make this oil. Anything to make it slippery. There we go. I'm gonna rub it in nice. All right, it's sure slippery in the fingers. All right. Now, let's take some of that shaving, creaming, and put it in my hand first. About that much. And then I'm going to put it right here to begin with, and a little bit back here. And I'm going to see what kind of lather we can whip up. The uh, synthetic brushes only take about 30 seconds in uh, warm water. And that's all I'm going to do, soak it for 30 seconds. They usually don't hold a lot of water, the, the fibers. But I am going to squeeze most of the water out. We can always add more. And we'll see what we can do. This soap is, uh, smells nice. It's relatively inexpensive. You can find it almost anywhere. Now, I guess for a while it was hard to find. But I see it in uh, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy. This is the, uh, uh, yeah, this is, I'm thinking of another duck soap, but this has got aloe in it, which is kind of nice. And it's lathering up really nicely. I want to really soak the bristles in, or the hair fibers in, or the whiskers on the top of my head. I 
sure lather is nice. I've never done this before. <laughs> lather right into my head. First time for everything, you know. It's about the fourth time I've used this razor. First time I kind of cut myself only because I didn't have the blade inserted correctly, and it was my fault. But uh, let's get this down a little bit here. Okay, I'm done. All right, let's move this back. I'm going to put this in uh, some uh, hot water here, fill up one bowl with hot water. And then I'm going to set the other empty bowl on empty so that I'm going to put this in there to make it float. All right, let's heat up the razor. And this time I'm going to, oh, let's go from front to back this time. And I'm just letting the, basically the razor do the work. i got to remember to go a little slow. I can feel it. Oh, it's nice yet. Okay. I'm just letting the, it's a heavy razor, so I just let the, the weight of the razor do the work. I'm just kind of guiding it. This, this razor just cuts amazingly smooth. Pull the ear out and I'm gonna. Well, when I get in that mastoid bone, I sure can hear the, the razor cutting the whiskers. Whiskers, hair, Bobby, come on. <laughs> I've been in Sherwood Forest too long. There we go. I don't know if you've tried this razor. I mean, it's phenomenal. They're on, uh, the owners and inventor of this were on television the other night on Shark Tank. They were kind of goofy, but they uh, they got the money they needed. You know, sometimes it's hard to raise money for projects. I've done it, and it's tough. I did it uh, in 2007 when, you know, the banking, the whole thing went in the toilet, basically. The economy. And even if you had uh, 850, if that's possible, on a credit score, you couldn't borrow money anywhere. But I was able to raise oh, quite a bit. All right, let's see how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to go down on this. Careful, I'm just going to barely hold the razor. And then I'm going to come up. And around, okay. So far the blade's doing well. Get front here. All right, let's go down the back. I'm trying to do this more by feel. Of course I have to, because I don't have a mirror behind me. I could hold one, but... Uh, What if I'm out someplace and want to shave outside and I don't have a mirror? And if I shave outside, I'm taking this razor with me because it is so nice. Now let's see. Oh, wow. It's amazing. I don't know. If there's any uh, head shavers there, tell me what you're using and what... Uh, what soap you're using? I got a little lick right there, but I'm not going to worry about that. I always seem to get one someplace. All right, let's see where I'm at. Set the razor down carefully. Okay. All right, I'm going to wash my head again. Oh, I missed the whole spot back there. Not paying attention. 
Okay. Now I'll put the soap on again. This yucky brush is really, I uh, guess that's for not, is really nice. I'm getting to like uh, synthetic fibers more and more. I have a couple more of them on order. I don't know why. One will probably last me the rest of my life, but you just can't have one razor, one razor blade. Does that look like I have the soap on evenly? Okay. Wash the hands off. All right, now we're gonna go, uh, I think from fr back to front. We went the other way before. I think, I don't remember. Jeez. Look at that. I'm just letting the weight of the razor do the work. This is amazing. I haven't, uh, I know these blades are a little stiffer than the normal razor blade. They're thicker. Okay, I'm gonna come right down in the front quickly. Let's see how we did. Okay. I'm gonna go across that way, and then I'm gonna go across that way. Just because I can. Okay. Yeah, I can feel. You can hear. And you can hear the. You can hear it and slightly feel when you're going over hair that has not been cut. And this uh, combination of the. Shaving soap is beautiful with this razor. Oh, we gotta get that later. Yeah, we gotta go front to back yet. Okay. It's amazing, Kelly. All right, last pass. We're going to go uh, the upstroke. I could almost shave, save, save, shave with the soap that I'm using. Nice and neat. Draw little smiley faces on it. <laughs> I'm not an artist. There you go. Okay. Wash the razor out. All right. We're gonna go right to the back and go up carefully. This, look how clean it is when you wash it. There's the, the uh, there's no clogging of the soap in there whatsoever. Make a good advertisement, wouldn't I? <laughs> okay. I get my hand behind her now. I'm gonna feel where I've been and where I haven't. Okay. Sometimes there's a little line that you uh, you miss. You just have to go over it a little bit.
Okay, right back here. Is that blood? Oh my. I must have nicked myself someplace. I know I had a couple boo-boos back there earlier. And I probably took the heads of those off. Let's wet that down a little bit. Let's feel where we're at here. All right. I'll tell you, you don't have to go over it too many times to get the the hair off the spot. All right, one more little thing back here. Good, we're done. Wow. Let's wipe the head off. I think I went over too much. We can fix that though. All right, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna open the door here, get my alum block. Okay, there we go. Just wanna see. <laughs> okay. Okay. That there and we'll see where we're at. I may have to touch it up a little with a septic pencil. A couple little areas in here. And I think there's a one back here. I can't see it. And I'll buy that. And it's okay. Let me take a look behind. I'm probably bleeding to death back here. Oh, there's only one little spot here. That's not bad. We'll get that. Hang on a minute. Get a tissue. Oops. Lost my balance there for a second. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Seems like I always get more uh, little bleeders on the top of the head than I do on the face. All right, what we're going to use now is I want to wash the head one more time and get this uh, alum off. Very close shave, very close. All right. All right, now I'm gonna put some witch hazel on it. It's an astringent with the tea tree oil. Okay, and finally, I found this here. This is a Goldmont Ultimate Healing Skin Therapy Lotion with aloe in it. So we're going to try that. Just to put the moisture back in. Let me put that in there. Oh, nice and slippery. Oh, wow. Put some on my face, too. Push up, push up, push up. All right. Oh. All right, Katie. Wash my hands so I can lift my products up here. And I want to go over them just real quickly with you. All right. Let's go from back to front. I use the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Skin Therapy. It's quite nice. I like it. And then, of course, I use my Humphreys with uh, tea tree oil in it as a stringent. 
I use the pure uh, liquid, uh, liquid soothing cream soap with aloe in it. I love this for the top of my head. This is I use as the bar. If it, it, other uh, shampoos I yet I use have to go above this because this is pretty high on my scale as far as quality for the head shaves. I use my own uh, oil that I put together. Again, if you want to know how I do a video just on how, to, how I make that. The, uh, I use my alum block. I don't use it that often. And I also use the uh, Yaki brush. It's a 24 mil. And here's the soap that's left in it. Look at that. Wow. It's really nice. I'll just wash my hands while I'm at it. And then the final thing that I used was the Supply Razor by GetSupply.com. A phenomenal razor. And I'm, I used it with the number one blade uh, plate. And if I let my uh, beard grow a lot longer, I might try the number two and number three. But for me, the number one blade uh, plate, rather, is perfect. And this, these are the blades that came with it. I also have some other razor blades I'm going to try, maybe on my next shave, and I'll do a, uh, a demo on that. But I'm very pleased with this. I like this, this razor. Well, uh, I think that's it for now. I'm very pleased with the, the shave. It's very, very close. Uh, a couple weepers, but hey, happens all the time. They heal up. <laughs> so I hope you're having uh, some great head shaves. If you have any comments, please leave them below and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any more tips or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I will have a, uh, in the show more, I think the little tab you hit, the drop down menu, I will have all the products listed if you want to try them out. But uh, thanks for stopping in. We'll see you in the next shave. Have a great day. Be nice to others. No raid, road rage. Road rage. Road rage. <laughs> Talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.